Ms. Reps, welcome to our media box. You have a report on uh, the role of the human rights defenders in the Council of Europe member states. So I would like to ask you, uh, what is the situation of the human rights defenders in member countries? Let's start from there and then we will talk the role of them. I have to first um, tell that the Human Rights Defenders uh, reports is already the third sequent report in this assembly. And the idea, of course, is that we are constantly monitoring the situation by the Legal Affairs and Human Rights Committee. What is the situation in different member states about the human rights defenders? They are the people who are defending the rights of the others. They can be journalists, they can be lawyers, they can be human rights uh, activists. But they sometimes are just lay people who happen to defend their neighbor, their member of a family, and then as such become uh, the human rights activist. So it's very, very wide spectrum of uh, people. And uh, the report is, of course, uh, looking into all the countries, but particularly we are worried about in a few, mm -hmm. and especially uh, in Azerbaijan, in Russia, in uh, Turkey. There are tendencies where human rights um, activists can be in a life-threatening situation. But with unfortunate cases we see in many other countries, there are Armenia, there are Ukraine, uh, there's Georgia, but also in a Western Europe. Um, organizations who are working with LGTB issues, with immigrants, especially now, can be in a harsh situation of uh, particular attention from the security forces, from the tax authorities or in authorities in general. So what should I have done to protect human rights defenders, especially what are your recommendations which you mentioned in your report to the Parliamentary Assembly? The first and foremost is not to uh, be unnoticed. We need to follow the situation. We need to look into the particular cases in the particular countries. And uh, sometimes we need to, need to name and blame. If the country is in a particularly bad situation, if there is uh, people behind the bars just because of their human rights activities, or uh, lawyers getting disbarred, or journalists getting threatened, or even losing their lives, we have to speak up. So first is that Assembly and the Committee of Ministers should not forget this topic and continue to work and be seized on it. And the second and the very important is that we have to find a mechanism. If the people who are cooperating with uh, our council, with our court, who are helping as a lawyers to give the uh, evidence or, or to give um, people opportunity to access the Strasbourg court, helping them to file a case, if they are threatened or getting really criminal charges against them, this is something what we have to find a solution. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Ritz. Thank you. Thank you.